Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of our studio. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of multicollinearity and how to perform multicollinearity in our studio and its interpretation. You can find more videos on uh, our studio, econometrics, SPSS, economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to uh, subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of multicollinearity. Multicollinearity is associated with multiple linear regression model. So in our multiple linear regression model, if two or more independent variables are correlated with each other, then we have the problem of multicollinearity. And if we have multicollinearity, it becomes difficult to measure the individual or separate effect of ind independent variable on dependent variable. And that is why we are concerned about the uh, multicollinearity or whether we have this type of problem in our multiple linear regression model or not. Because if we have multicollinearity, the OLS estimators are no longer blue based linear unbiased estimator. So let's begin with the uh, our studio. So before you start working on uh, our studio, keep these two uh, packages ready in your in your uh, our window one is empty cars and another is td verse so the data set is empty cars we are going to use this data set to check whether we have the multicollinearity or not so let's understand the data so if you go to help after downloading the or after installing the installing the package you can find the description of the data set so basically, we have the uh, data of uh, various cars on, on uh, various variables. So we have miles per gallon, number of cylinders, displacement, horsepower, rear XL ratio, weight, engine type. So we are going to use this uh, data set to understand the multicollinearity. So now out of these 11 variables, we need only five or six variables and therefore we use the forward uh, pipe operator command. So let's save our data as multi underscore data. We are going to use empty cars. Now you use this forward pipe operator command, which is percentage sign greater than sign and again percentage sign. So empty cars and out of these empty cars select mpg you can see here mpg then cyl disp hp and wt so simply run and again write multi underscore data so now our data set is ready. You can see. We have uh, these five variables. Now before we uh, perform the regression analysis, we need to check whether these independent variables are associated with each other or not. So here we want to know whether miles per gallon that is mpg depends on these four independent variables number of cylinders cyl displacement horsepower and weight so these four are our uh, independent variables and we need to know whether these independent variables are correlated or not so to check the association we use correlation matrix so what is correlation matrix? It shows the correlation between multiple independent variables. So to perform correlation matrix, you need to install this package called core plot. So you can simply uh, write these commands in your R studio. So let's see how to uh, perform the uh, or how to generate the correlation matrix. So it is core plot in bracket four our data set is multi underscore data 
मैथड इज इक्वल टू नंबर यू सिंपली रन इट यू कैन सी दी को रिलेशन मैट्रिक्स हियर नाउ इफ यू सी दी को रिलेशन मैट्रिक्स see this the correlation matrix between disp and cyl displacement and number of cylinders they are strongly positively correlated with each other because the correlation coefficient is 0.90 <clears throat> so if it is 0.90 or above you need to uh, check the collinearity you need to check the multi collinearity using some scientific method so since we have this value which is 0.90 we need to check whether our regression model has the multi collinearity problem or not so let's check so what is the method to check the multi collinearity problem so before we check the multi collinearity problem we need to define the model we need to run the multiple linear regression model so let's run the multiple linear regression model so we use lm command to uh, run the regression model you can find my videos on simple linear regression model and multiple linear regression model link is given in the description mpg is our dependent variable which depends on other variable cyl plus you can see here in help cyl d i s p d i s p plus h p plus w t data is equal to multi data then write model and then summary run these three commands together so here you have the overall significance of the model so this is your p value this is f statistics but we know that two independent variables are associated with each other and therefore before we report this regression model we need to check whether we are facing the multi collinearity problem or not now to check the multi collinearity problem we use vif variance inflation factor so if our vif is greater than 10 then we can say that multi collinearity exists in the model so to perform vif or to perf or to calculate the vif value again you need to install another package which is called car so install this package in your uh, using these commands and then you can simply write vif of our multiple linear regression model so simply write vif model and run so now you can see the vif for displacement is higher than 10 and therefore multi collinearity exists in our model so we cannot use ordinary least squares method because these estimators are no longer blue so this is how we uh, use the concept of multi collinearity and this is how we perform the multi collinearity in our studio if you find this video useful can you like share comment and subscribe thank you